Hello once again, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and welcome to another live broadcast. In this live broadcast, I'm going to answer the question, when should you empty your septic tank? And that's a really good question because um, where I live, I'll give you an example, it costs £200 a time to get the septic tank emptied. Some people, they should get their, I think they should get their septic tank emptied when it's full. Other people um have a look at the septic tank emptying receipts and i think oh i did it five years ago so i'll do it again so how often should you get your septic tank emptied and why why do you get your septic tank emptied well i'm going to explain all this to you now so we're going over to the computer and i'll show you live why and how often you should empty your septic tank come and have a look at this All right, so here's a septic tank and soak away. We saw how they worked in the last live broadcast. So let's just go down here, right? Let's just go to the septic tank, okay? All right, so here's a septic tank. All right, so let me take the half off. So as you know, all the wastewater from your house will go into the septic tank. So at this point, I just want to say septic tanks are always, always, always three quarters full. So if you get your septic tank emptied because you think it's full, then you're going to be emptying it all the time because it will always be full. It's just how they are. All right. So just because it's full up three quarters full with water doesn't mean you need to get your septic tank emptied. All right. So once it uh, fills up, the water then makes its way, um, oops, that isn't yet, oh, water in, out the back, there we go. Once it fills up, the water then makes its way through the outlet pipe here, all right? So once the septic tank's full up, the water makes its way out through the um, uh, so, uh, outlet pipe there towards the soakaway, which we saw in the last video. But this is why, now I'm going to show you why you get your septic tank emptied, okay? So all the fat and the grease from your poo, from your dishwasher, from the washing machine, everything like that falls to the bottom of the septic tank. All right, so it builds up here, right at the bottom of the tank there. Can you see? And over time, this fat and grease and sludge builds up at the bottom of your septic tank. And over the course of the few months, over the course of the year, it starts to build up inside the tank. And if you're not careful, the sludge, you see here is the outlet pipe. If the sludge reaches too high, it will reach the outlet pipe, and then it will start to make its way down here and block your soak away up. So before that happens, you need to ring your septic tank emptying man. So let me show show you him so he'll turn up so let's show you here so let's bring the tanker man in okay tanker man where are you there he is look all right the septic tank man he turns up he takes all his pipes off there you go look at that all right and he puts his pipe into the septic tank there all right and then he will pump it out and so when he pumps it out it will get rid of all the fat, the grease, and the sludge from your septic tank, okay? And then obviously he will suck out the water, all right, from the tank there, all right? So he'll suck out the water from the tank, job done. And that's why you get your septic tank emptied. Now you should get your septic tank emptied at least once or twice a year because within a few hours of him emptying your tank, the tank will fill up with water again, and uh, the whole process will start all over again. The sludge will start filling up at the bottom, and you'll need to get your septic tank emptied again. So there you go. That's why you need to get your septic tank emptied once a year, twice a year. And um, so... <laughs> Basically, some people get big sticks and put it in there to try and see how, um, you know, how much sludge is on the bottom of the tank. But that doesn't work. That is not 
an indication of when you need to get your septic tank emptied. Why not? Because in the septic tank itself, right, in the septic tank itself, you've got something. So let's say that's all the sludge on the bottom there, right? Some people will dip a big stick in to try and work out how deep it is, right? And that's the water there. And they'll put their stick in there to try and gauge the level of it. But it's not a good indication because in the suspended solids itself, right, in the suspended solids, so that's the pipe that goes to uh, the soak away, you've got lots of things called suspended solids, right? And these float around in the water. And when the water reaches a certain height, i.e. here, right, that's the height on January reach, all the suspended solids will start making their way down the pipe here to the soak away. So this is why it's so important to get your septic tank emptied once every six months, once every year. Don't wait three years and then put a stick in it and say, oh, good, there's only a bit of sludge in the bottom, because it's still blocking your arteries up. It's like, it's like um, you know, if you eat fried food all the time, you know it's blocking your arteries up bit by bit by bit by bit by bit. You know, you... <clears throat> It's like waiting 10 years and saying, oh, I've only had X amount of fried food, then I'm going to be all right. But, you know, so if you if you if you if you want to stop your septic tank developing problems and your soak away developing problems, get it emptied once every six months, as I said, or um, or twice a year. So there you go. I hope that's helped you today. If you want to see more of me, you should know by now where you've got to go. You've got to go to septic tank. TV, yes, all right. I'm the only septic tank TV channel in the world. I'm pretty sure of that. And we're live right now. Uh, so you can see more uh, septic tank videos answering all your questions. You can see more of me. Or if you want to speak to me, just go to septictank.co.uk. I love giving people free help and advice, as you know, because I'm always telling you that. So I'm here waiting to help you, and I'm looking forward to speaking to you soon.